What's going on Halo fans, Luke the Notable here. Today, what we're gonna be doing is, I'm gonna be getting my accuracy back. I haven't had internet for the last four days, and before that, I hadn't played a lot of Halo 5 due to getting ready for moving. I'm in a new apartment now. That you, I, I haven't set up any of the stuff in the background, so that's all the same, uh, but I did get a new microphone, boom! So that looks pretty sweet and professional and, and cool, and you might be noticing some better audio quality. I don't know if you can hear it or not, uh, but hopefully you can, because that would be super swick. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting my accuracy back uh, using a method that I talked about in a video I did probably, I don't know, a month ago. And essentially, all I do in order to get my accuracy back, because it's terrible right now, is I play Warzone Assault with my assault rifle only until about 70 to 75% accuracy. Then I play Wars and Assault with my Gunfire Magnum only until about 60% accuracy. And then I play Wars and Assault with my regular Halo 5 Magnum only until about 70% accuracy. And then I will go into Free For All until I can, you know, start winning games and start playing well. So we're going to search for a Wars and Assault game. Hopefully we'll be able to find some on Expanded. Uh, it's not too early in the morning, but it's definitely not prime. I'm going to be aggressively trying to get my accuracy back. I want to jump into more competitive things and... Uh, well, I definitely need to, you know, for, I was trying to do videos earlier and not having a good shot, not, not being, I don't know, ready to, you know, do, do a lot of the high acuity stuff that I needed to do it was pretty tough for me to make other videos. So I decided to scrap all the ideas I had for today to make videos and just, just make this one, just make this video where I go in and try to get my accuracy back. So a lot of people in my original video did say that um, it, they do have a lot of trouble finding Warzone Assault games. And if you're someone that does find a lot of trouble finding Warzone Assault games, um, what you can do is just play Big Team Battle instead. That was something that I neglected to um, state in the first video. And uh, we might actually try that out after this game just to show you that it can still be effective. And if you didn't watch my original video, essentially just using your assault rifle teaches you to kind of maintain accuracy, which is pretty important for pistol gameplay later. Uh, that's something that you do need to kind of get back into your system before you end up start using your pistol again. You see, even yeah, normally I have a, like no problem doing this, but right now I'm just, just so rusty. It's so tough for me. Gives me a chance to use my new 343 AR. I don't, I don't know how I got it. It just showed up in a pack and I have it now. So it's pretty cool. It's red. I don't really like red. It'd be cool if it was blue, but whatever. And this is something you don't necessarily have to do if you haven't been playing for a while. Like I said in my original video, this is something I used to do in uh, Halo 4, back when I would um, maybe even just feel like I was playing bad for a couple games. I would just maybe do a round or two of only Assault Rifle and, and like Affinity Slayer or whatever, because you could change your loadout then. And that's why I like using Warzone Assault, because especially early game, like that first garage defense, it's a lot of... AR heavy engagements uh, and it really allows you to get up close and personal a lot where sometimes in Slayer or other times big team battle it can be tough to get those good engagements where you can actually get kills with the assault rifle where on some of the bigger maps it can be a little bit harder your score suffers more I think these long range encounters are good too especially in your first couple games when you're probably not going to hit 70% accuracy anyway try to get some of these long range ones um, because like I said you're not probably going to get 70% accuracy on your first try so there's no real point in conserving it just go and shoot everyone you can so we got the loss but that's okay it's not about that not about that not about winning it's just about getting that accuracy we did get the most kills on the team though so there's that let's see what our accuracy percentage is I'm gonna play another one regardless I think I might try to go into big team battle and show you guys that 52 so not terrible especially since considering we were like pretty crazy with a lot of our shots we weren't like just focusing only on guys that we could get real close up and i definitely think the start of the game was a lot worse for us so i think if we had played another game right after that one uh, we would probably get a lot higher accuracy than 53 percent or 52 percent whatever we ended up getting and i think we got maxed out accuracy on our team oh high flex whoever that guy is got 56 whatever how'd you get an, you got an overkill and left look at this guy high flex I can tell that playing on expanded is hurting my shot. Um, I've always noticed when playing on expanded that even assault rifles are a little bit off. You're going to miss a couple more bullets. And uh, I think maybe if it doesn't piss you off too much, I think playing on expanded could be a good way to kind of, um, you know, make it a little bit harder on yourself. Give yourself a little handicap. And then if you go back to balanced or whatever you play on, focused even, um, it might be a lot easier for you to hit some of those shots. Like I know for a fact... 
If I go back to balanced after playing on expanded for like 10 games, I'm, I'm a god. I can't be touched because I'm used to that handicap of not being able to hit all of my shots perfectly, uh, especially since I've upgraded my internet. Like that guy was laggy all over the place. I could tell that there was a little bit of delay there, but if I'm playing on balanced or even focused, which I don't normally do, um, that guy, will, it'll be clean, it'll be nice. And I think that might be a helpful tip for you. If it doesn't piss you off too much. Now, some people, they need they need perfection. And if you're one of those people, then forget what I'm saying. Oh, they changed the Gunfighter Magnum. Oh, it's level 2 now. Okay, I didn't know that. All right. Well, the Gunfighter Magnum essentially is the Magnum that is a little bit worse. It doesn't have as much... Uh, it doesn't have as long as range. It doesn't have as much bullet magnetism. It's much harder to aim with, essentially. It also has a faster rate of fire. But even though it has a faster rate of fire and all of these things are worse, it has a lower, it has a, about the same time to kill. So essentially, it's a magnum that is worse than the normal magnum that you're going to be using throughout Halo 5. So what I like to do is I like to go on Expanded and Warzone Assault, wreck the Gunfighter Magnum, which is a loadout. And because it's a loadout, it's always free, so you can wreck it for the entire game. And just play a couple games with that until you're hitting about a 50 to 60% accuracy rating, which would be the same of, of like a pretty good game with a regular gun or a regular Halo 5. Magnum. Now, because it is an ultra rare, if you don't have the wreck for it, like if you don't actually have that wreck, you can just wreck carbines, which is the same wreck level. It's just every time you die, you'll have to get a new one. Uh, it's something you can do, but uh, of course, it would be better if you did have the gunfighter magnum. Maybe just do some grinding for it. It doesn't take too long. Uh, it's just an ultra rare. With the low amount of auto aim and bullet magnetism, it's just a lot harder and less, you know, it, it just doesn't feel right. It's a lot harder to use than the original Magnum, which, you know, kind of replaced all of the other, uh, you know, weapons in the game. It's, it's just harder to use, and when you switch back to the regular Magnum, it'll feel so much smoother. This is a crucial step in getting your pistol accuracy back. And the, if you watch my video on, you know, why I don't Octagon, you may say, well, I just Octagon to get my accuracy back. But I don't think Octagon does the same thing that this kind of method does, which is a progression. Octagon just throws you into a high acuity setting where you have to, you know, use your pistol or die. And this kind of eases you in to getting back to your pistol. And I've always found that... Um, I, this is more effective than trying to get my accuracy back with a little bit of octagon. I think if you already have, you know, somewhat of an accuracy and you just want to warm up, octagon's great. Uh, a lot of people didn't uh, understand about that video is that I wasn't saying octagon is never a good idea, but I think if you haven't been playing for a while, this is a better method to use than my, uh, than, than octagoning. Did I just perfect that guy? I don't know if the gunfighter has a perfect, but... Oh, like, that's so hard when he's at a PR. Oh, because I have no auto-aim and no bullet magnetism, and he has all of the PR, and and he's got the bullet magnetism and all that. Ugh. Oh, it's hard, but it makes you better. Trust me, it makes you better. That was a pretty good game. That felt good. I don't think we got the most kills. Wow, 13 assists. That's what's going to happen when you use the gunfighter, because a lot of times it's so hard to get that last headshot. Um, but that's, yeah, whatever. We probably got a high KDA then. That's That's like a huge KDA. Rocking a 70.9% accuracy using the gunfighter. Oh yeah, when I come back to my Magnum after this next gunfighter game, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be feeling good. Looks like we're gonna lose this one, but that's okay. Um, we still had a pretty good game though. Like I feel like we had a lot of accuracy. I don't know if we hit 70. There were a lot of times when I was kind of shooting a little bit fast with this thing, but um, probably at least 60 on that game. Oh wow, 68. So pretty much the same accuracy. Yeah, we played a little bit worse. Um, we had a lot of assault rifle kills, too. Uh, it was just playing a good team, so pretty tough against... Wow, wait. Oh, right. It's like seven assault rifle kills, only six kills, because the Marines count. All right, that actually wasn't too bad. So we're going to try to find a balanced Warzone assault game. So this means that my connection should be better. I will be using my full Halo 5 pistol, no gunfighter. Uh, I can switch back to my assault rifle if I want to. Um, but we're going to be on balanced, so this will be like pretty much the best situation I can be in as far as accuracy goes. And we're going to see just how far I've come in an hour and 12 minutes since I started uh, with that first game of Warzone Assault that you watched with me with the assault rifle. Just the regular Magnum. Just the regular old Halo 5 Magnum. This is going to feel really cl God, that felt great. That felt wonderful. That felt even better, getting that little reverse five on him. Whew. Whew. And I know these aren't the best players, but 
the first step is just getting your accuracy back and then you move on to you know all of the things that make someone with good accuracy into a great player you know like mental game and stuff like that that comes after you get your accuracy and now that it's i'm feeling that it's pretty much back we're on this we're on the track to truly getting good i think this is the first killing spree i've been on honestly just feels feels good man everything feels nice and smooth and, and perfect just like it should wow i'm on a frenzy i haven't been on a frenzy in a while feels good feels good to get those 10 kills in a row and I'm not, and then I'm dead, and then I'm dead because I just tried to push up too far. Whatever, man. Here's my multi. Oh, I missed that shot. Oh, and I got stuck on a wall. See, I thought that was definitely going to be like an overkill right there. Wow, pretty good. We didn't end up using the sniper, but I just got it. Um, geez, that felt like a really good accuracy game. I don't know. I felt accurate. A lot of times it got a little crazy. Got 22 kills. Had a killing spree at one point. Eight, eight deaths. We had a period. In the second, um, what is that, the armory or a, uh, yeah, an armory where I died a lot just because everyone else had battle rifles and I only had a pistol. Um, but I'm thinking that was at least a 70, oh, almost a 70, 68.2 with the regular pistol. That felt really good, especially for being such a fast paced game with a bunch of really good players in it. Um, a lot of good pistol guys in that game. A lot of guys that, uh, you know, were just going after me. So that is how to get your shot back. That is how I just got my shot back live for all of you guys remember play some warzone assault big team battle whatever it may be assault rifle only and then move on to your gunfighter magnum and then just your magnum um, i would play more free for all but that would be a lot of edit that would be a lot to edit uh i'm already i'm already about an hour and a half of footage into this so i'm just gonna cut it off here show you guys that i did get my accuracy back i'm feeling much better i'm feeling much more apt to make some more videos i'm feeling like i can can accomplish anything right now so um thank you all for watching please comment down below i love reading comments this is my favorite part about youtube and i'll see you in the next video stay notable